Hi, it's Erin. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I wanted to talk a bit about notebooks today, which if you spend any time on my channel, you know that I, I like a good notebook. So I'm going to be talking about specifically the notebook therapy Tsuki collection. Just want to mention straight up top, this video is not sponsored in any way. I don't have a notebook therapy discount code for you as much as I'd love to. I don't have one. This is just me talking about some notebooks that I bought and how they made me feel. <laughs> I'll put links to the specific journals that I'm using down in the description box. They're not affiliate links or anything. Some of the other links down there are affiliate links. I'm not an affiliate with Notebook Therapy, so they'll just be normal links down the bottom to the journals. But if you'd like to find them, specifically the journals that I'm using, I'll make sure that they're down there so you can do that. If you see something like, for instance, this, and you're like, I have to have it, I can relate because that's exactly what I did. If you've spent any time on Instagram in the bullet journal community at all, I'm pretty sure you've probably been served an ad from these guys. The notebook therapy ads are everywhere. They're on stories, they're in your feed, they're probably on Facebook as well. I think the sheer volume of advertising that they do makes people think they could be a bit scammy. So that's actually why I decided to put this video together. I got this DM a while ago. I had just bought some notebook therapy products and I put them on my stories and notebook therapy reshared them. And then somebody messaged me and asked if I actually had bought those or if it was a scam. I was like, oh, that's a really unusual question. So if that person's thinking that, then I guess maybe a lot of people are thinking that. And there are other YouTube videos out there, but I was like, let's give my opinion, I suppose. A bit of context on how I got onto notebook therapy. I also first was exposed to them through an ad, probably much like a lot of people. I was using the Loge Term 1917s before this because at the time that I started bullet journaling in 2017, they were like the gold standard. I got into bullet journaling through an Australian YouTuber called Rachel Austin. She was very much just the writer Carol style, no decoration, one pen, just plan out your life. It doesn't have to be aesthetic kind of vibe. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I like that you can do whatever you want with it. So everyone then was using the Loge terms and I started using the Loge terms. So I got three solid years of bullet journaling in Loge term 1917, A5 notebooks. And then my beautiful friends gifted me this Mimco notebook cover for my birthday. And it's so stunning. And an A5 notebook will not fit in it. Simply will not but it's gorgeous. Came with its own little notebook included already, but it was just lined pages like that. And I didn't want lined pages, did I? Because I'd had three years of bullet journaling experience. I wanted dotted pages. So I went hunting for a bullet journal that specifically would fit into this bad boy here. And what that led me to was notebook therapy. Maybe like me, the first time you saw these notebooks, you thought, oh wow, that's some Archer and Olive imitation stuff. I don't disagree, but I do think that they do their designs in their own way. Um, so in case you weren't aware, Tsuki, I think the Japanese pronunciation is actually closer to Tsuki, but Tsuki is more comfortable in my Australian accent, means moon. Tsuki means moon. And um, you might notice a bit of a moon theme going on here. Their most recent collection is called the Moon Flower. Everything ties back into Japanese culture, but they are, they are doing their own thing. And if you don't have that context, which I don't feel that they necessarily communicate so well through their branding and stuff, then you, how are you supposed to know? But anyways, it led me to, these are the notebook therapy original size journals. This one, this one is also original size. And from their newest stuff, which I haven't started using these two notebooks from their Sakura collection yet. I also got this one, <laughs> it's pretty. This has got a moon on it. This has got a moon on it. And this has got a moon on it. Um, not all of their stuff does. They've got like whale themed releases and stuff too, but this size notebook fits in this notebook cover. And that was what I wanted. Most of the time when I hear people talk about the original size Tsukis, they're like, they're too small, I hate it. Give me A5 or die. And I must be like just over here. There must be other people who like them as much as I do because they still sell them in all of their notebook colorways and stuff, but the original size is so good. Everything that I've done this year has been in this particular notebook. And I, I actually really like having a, a smaller book. I find it makes it a bit more transportable, a bit more like easy to chuck in your bag and take places with you. I don't always take it in the notebook cover, which by the way, don't the colors just work together? That's why I went with the, this is the matcha, mint matcha colorway of the soft cover Tsuki. I'll get into what specifically each of these different things are later, but I want to talk about the general stuff first. I find them really good, the original size. I am planning to use another original size for my 2022 notebook, which is going to be this one. I have no complaints about the size. What can I tell you? Um, it's In terms of measurements, 
The original measures. I'm gonna go centimeters here because I'm in Australia and we are metric as heck. Yeah, I'm gonna say 13 and a half centimeters wide this way. Top to bottom, 19 and a half. As compared to the A5. The size difference, look, it's actually not that excessively bigger. I'm always really surprised when people get the Suki and they're like, sorry, the original size and they're like, oh my God, it's so small. Cause it's not that much smaller, but I guess it makes a difference. I suppose you're losing what, two rows of dots on the top or bottom and one on one of the sides maybe. If you like A5s, they do A5s. They don't only do the original size, they also do a B6, so. Just gonna talk about the pages real quick. All of the notebook, I have my, I have notes in this journal, um, <laughs> which is why I'm looking down. All of the notebook therapy notebooks have 160 GSM paper, which is a thicker GSM than a typical notebook has. If you're not sure what that means, GSM literally stands for grams per square meter. So it's, it's literally the weight of the paper. So if you had a square meter of specifically this paper, it would weigh 160 grams. Just to give you a bit of a frame of reference, ordinary printer paper, like this stuff, according to my notes, is around about 90 to 100 GSM. And most notebooks are around 75 to 90 GSM. So 160 GSM gives you a much thicker paper, which is handy if you're gonna be using markers and stuff in there. Not so much like Copic markers and that kind of thing, because alcohol will still bleed through the page but any kind of texture, that's what we call them here. Sorry, that's an Australian thing. People will probably be like, what the heck's a texture? Any kind of marker, brush, pen thing, as long as it's not alcohol-based, I actually find go really well. Look, I swatched some things for you, just so we could really see what goes through the page. So on this side, I've got Faber-Castell Pit Artist Brush Pens. I've got some Tombow Jewel Tips. I've got like Sharpie pens, a couple of different fine liners. And on this side, I've got Tombow Jewel, I've got an sh actual Sharpie Faber Castell, a couple of other like the Tombow Fudenoskes, and I've got these like metallic paint pens that I just happen to own. And the only things that have bled, I've swatched some pencils over here too. The only things that have bled through, the Sharpie pen, you can see a bit over here, I'll get better shots of this that I can switch to. Sharpie pen over here, and on the opposite side, I swatched some Copics right here, and the Copics have made it to the other side, but nothing else has. I haven't had any issues with ghosting. I haven't had any issues with bleeding. I'm really happy with the paper quality in these books. And I love that it's a bright white. It's not that like parchmenty kind of yellow. I don't know if it's just because my lotion terms are old, but they look really yellow compared to these now. So things to keep in mind, bright, bright white. They also note on their website that the, the dots are five millimeters apart. I don't especially care about the dot spacing as long as I have dots to use as a reference. They're dark enough that you can see. I don't feel like they're crazy dark. I don't feel like they're really light in such a way that they might be hard to find. I don't know. <laughs> I believe all of their like leather look stuff is vegan leather, which means it's plastic, but at least you know you're not getting an animal product if that's something that's important to you. So that's good. Some differences between the different notebook sizes. The original size has 128 pages will not hold a full year for me. I used to be able to fit a whole year into the Loge terms. It's not a deal breaker. I don't mind that I can't fit a whole year into a single journal. It gives me an excuse to buy a new notebook, which is not a bad thing. You do get an extra bunch of pages, 176 in the A5 and also 176 in the B6 size journals. So if you like a few more pages, you could go for one of those. Maybe that's why people prefer them. I don't know, I'm still, original size has my heart, what can I say? They all come with two little bookmark ribbons so that you can easily hold your place. They don't have charms on them like I think the Archer and Olives do. I don't need charms on my book ribbons. I don't, it's just gonna be heavier. Um, they've got a little pouch in the back here that, where you can put some stuff in. And um, they usually come with a little paper clip in a cute shape that relates to Oh, I'm having trouble grabbing it. Relates to the design that you've chosen. So I chose the Sakura collection and it came with this super adorable little, oh, come back, Sakura shaped. I'm gonna cover my face so it'll focus on me. Sakura shaped paperclip. So confession time, I had completely decided I was gonna buy an Archer and Olive for my next notebook. And then I looked at the prices. So I live in Brisbane, Australia. It's not like the most isolated place in the world, but sometimes shipping here, especially from the US, can be so expensive. Exchange rates are ridiculous. Like buying online from America is not fun <laughs> for us in Australia, at least right now. There are some stockists who sell Archer and Olive notebooks in Australia, but 
again, because they have to import them, they're really expensive. Um, there aren't like physical bookstores around me. I can't just go and pick one up and not pay for shipping. So I haven't looked that densely into their sizes, but as I mentioned, I wanted something to fit this guy. So I started hunting, I found the notebook therapy, ads on Instagram and was like, mm, I guess I'll give it a go. Jumped on there, found their original size, measured it out and went, maybe it'll fit. I won't know until it gets here. It did. And um, here's the thing that really got me, free international shipping. <laughs> so good. They also don't have a minimum order requirement so you can buy one thing that costs seven dollars and they'll still ship it to you for free. I, I can't argue with that, you know, that it's really good. They do free international shipping on all orders with tracking, looking at my notes again. These are the projected shipping times, US and Canada, seven to 21 days, Europe, Oceania and Southeast Asia, which is me, I'm not Southeast Asia, but Oceania, nine to 21 days, all other places, 14 to 35 days. They do have a restricted list because of COVID-19. I don't know where is restricted. I'm sorry if it's you and you're keen, um, don't shoot the messenger. They have a 30 day guarantee, um, but the FAQ doesn't actually talk about what the return process is. They just give you an email address to speak to customer support. So. I can't speak to their return process. I haven't had to return anything, which is a good sign. Um, but if you have had to return something, I'd love to know what the experience was like for you. Can you jump into the comments and let me know? That'd be really cool. In my particular context, I paid a lot of attention when I ordered these two, the Sakura collection. They dropped these and they sold out. And then when they said they were restocking them and I was like, I must have. And then they had a deal where you paid less if you bought two, so I bought two and um, they're still there, they're still available. So if you want these, you can still get them. So I bought my two Sakura journals, the pink one and the purple one on the 22nd of May. It's taken me a while to make this video. 22nd of May, 2021. They were shipped on the 31st of May. That's when I got the notification email that they'd been shipped and they were delivered to me on the 4th of June. So in total, that took 13 days to get to me the projection was nine to 21. Sometimes, depending on what you buy, because they do sell things other than just journals, but I've only bought their journals, so I can't speak to the rest of the stuff, but sometimes I think they do ship them in separate orders. I think they maybe drop ship from a warehouse in China, not sure. Um, don't quote me on that, but I had a friend recently buy one of the Moonflower journals and she also got one of the Tsuki template stencils. That's what they're called. Um, and the stencil arrived maybe like a week before the journal did. So things to, to note. I'm going to talk about specifically which journals I have bought now, and that will give you a bit of an idea of their range. They have so many more than these. Um, the, the first couple that I went for, if you'd like to see everything that I've done in this journal, I have a flip through video and I will link it up there. <laughs> I had to really think about it then. So this is the Notebook Therapy Tsuki original size soft cover journal. It's called that because unlike most, it has a soft cover. And I picked it again because I was like, well, that might help me manipulate it into this thing. And you know what it does? Allow me to demonstrate. You can't see it. It's just slightly out of frame. It's probably good in case I show off any of my private information. She fits. Now you can't see the cute green cover with the moon on it anymore, but she does fit. She fits in here. She fits. She fits. Price for the pastel edition soft cover in mint matcha at the moment is $31.66 or in US dollars that is $23.98. Previous price was Australian dollars just in case you hadn't worked that out from the rest of the video. I'm going to leave it in there now because I'm lazy. This one, they, they just call this one the 160 GSM bullet journal. So I'm guessing this was maybe like an original design. Mine's gotten a bit dirty. Um, it's so cute. It's got gold edges all around split colorway. This is also mint matcha. This is my current bullet journal. So this is what's getting me through from August through to the end of 2021. I don't think it's the cutest journal that I currently have in my possession, but you know what it does the job. And if I put it in a cover like this, you don't see it anyway. So uh, it doesn't matter. The price for the 160 GSM bullet journal in mint matcha at the moment is $34 and 30 cents Australian or US 25.98. This is also original size. Next year's BB. This one is the original size Sakura. They made like a Sakura themed like seasonal thing for spring. Spring is upcoming for us in Australia. We're in the opposite hemisphere, so we have the opposite season. And um, I was like, whatever, I don't care. I'm gonna get it anyway, because it's pretty. It goes with my branding for my business. Anyway, this is the Petal Pink, $34.30 Australian or $25.98 US. 
and I bought it at the same time as the A5 blush pink equivalent. Same notebook, just bigger, more pages. They both have the pretty gold on the edges. The new Moonflower ones have like embossed flowers on the sides. So pretty. A little bit jealous, not gonna lie. Um, so this one, a little bit bigger, was $38.26 Australian or $28.98 US. I bought these in a bundle together. There was a bit of a deal that made buying more than one journal a bit cheaper and I went with that and I apparently did not note down the Australian dollar equivalent but it was $42.04 US with free shipping. So these are the only bullet journals I've actually tried besides the old Loish Term 1917s. Don't know what this hand movement is all about. I'm honestly not in a hurry to leave the Suki family. They're really doing everything for me that I need them to do at this point so I won't be um, leaving the notebook therapy realm anytime soon. I'm gonna keep using these journals. Obviously I have two completely blank ones that I haven't even put my name inside of yet. So that's far notebook therapy stuff has been treating me really well. I haven't tried any of their other things. As I mentioned, they've got stencils, they sell like tote bags and pencil cases and stuff. I think they have some home like desk decor stuff. I wasn't really interested in any of that to be totally honest. I just want the journals. I've got stationery. It's just, just the, the bullet journals that had me interested and so far I'm really really happy with them the past eight months that I've been using them I've found them to be really reliable sturdy um, some of them have gotten a little bit dirty but the pages aren't like dog earring they've been traveling with me sometimes I, I mean I work from home so most of the time they're just here on my desk but sometimes I'll take them out to the library and I'll work there just to be out of my house when we're not locked down and yeah they've always been really good so I hope that if you decide to invest in one that it will be really good for you too. <laughs> Do let me know if you use notebook therapy books. I'd like to hear like which one you have just because I like to know stuff about other people's notebooks because stationery is really fun. Thank you so much for clicking on my video and especially sticking around until the end now because um, YouTube can be a fickle place sometimes. If you enjoyed this video, please do consider subscribing. I do make bullet journal layout stuff most of the time. Um, I make at least one of those every month. So hang around if you'd like. You don't have to, I won't force you. Um, I'm also on Instagram at erinsmith.art if you'd like to head over there and see some more stuff. Again, mostly bullet journals, but sometimes some other things. And I have an Etsy store where I sell printable versions of my layouts and some other printable journal stuff. So if you'd like to print some stuff and not put effort in, I'm here for you. <laughs> cool, all that stuff's down in the description as well as links to all of these beautiful journals. I hope to see you again in another video, but until then, my name is Erin once again, and I hope you have a really beautiful day. Bye.